let's just make sure we're coming in live hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today is april 11 2020 and uh, we're doing a live stream um, about mental health and this stream uh, i believe we've done one previous stream on mental health um, but this stream basically came about because of a request that we had on uh, discord uh, one of our mods mentioned that it might be a good idea for us to do a, another stream on mental health just to you know just because of the circumstances that everyone's in right uh, under now normal circumstances our societies our world our country is uh, it could be problematic to deal with and under pandemics it's uh, probably a little bit more problematic than uh, than normal right so i thought it was a good request it was a good suggestion for us to just do a little live stream um just focus on mental health and how everyone's doing and whatnot just to touch base with everyone um and this is sort of a thing that i'm going to do we've done this for the last uh, few months i basically go on our discord page and i ask people you know if there's any streams that they want to do and uh, people give suggestions hello dragon how are you doing good morning good morning and i ask people if they have any recommendations suggestions requests for live streams and people post their suggestions recommendations requests and i try to arrange it so we do uh, have some of these streams that people want to have right and i will be doing this uh, pretty sure on a more regular basis uh, i've mentioned to the people on patreon and that's a standing order we do have a patreon page i do share you know link up everything that we're loading up uh, on patreon in addition to some additional material uh, i do try to keep the people uh, up to date on patreon we do uh, provide a schedule for these live streams on patreon as well and i've said this from the get-go for those that are supporting this work through patreon if you have any requests suggestions recommendations please post them on patreon and we'll try to make sure that we do live streams or me on the back back end create videos to address your concerns or any topics of discussion you would like to have and patreon is a fantastic way to support this project hello dante how are you doing uh and uh we are live streaming this on twitch okay so in addition to patreon if you want to support this work twitch is a fantastic way to support this work as well either through amazon prime or subscribing through tier one and whatnot okay and if you want to watch these uh, streams live twitch is where you want to be at glad you're doing the stream we'll be answering any questions i can for sure dante and for those of you that want to know dante is the person that requested for us to have this stream just got to finish cooking you do your stuff brother i'm doing a little intro and uh, we'll let the chat take over after that i'm sort of just i don't know i don't know if you want to say moderating i will uh, share my experiences uh with mental health like everyone i've dealt with a lot of things as well um if you've lived a few years in this planet you would have dealt with certain issues for sure okay um aside from that i do announce these live streams on twitter gab minds vk and elo and those are the five platforms that i'm sort of announcing and sharing content on to a certain degree as well as our discord page i'm more active on our discord page than anywhere else really okay so if you want to follow our work some of the information that we're sharing and whatnot and have a conversation with people discord is where you want to be at and you'll find the link in the description of this video or if you would just want to you know know what's coming up and what we're loading up uh twitter gabs minds vk and elo are a good way to follow this work martin how are you doing a daylight stream a daylight stream for you brother <laughs> you must be just starting your day right and we're loading these videos on uh on bitshoot and youtube everything goes on bitshoot and almost everything is going on youtube and if you want to support this work youtube uh we just recently got approved for youtube membership and youtube membership is a great way to support this project as well and what i will be doing uh from now on is basically figuring out you know our what i'd like to 
do live streams on and i'm going to hit up the youtube community where for those who are supporting the work through youtube membership there's a little area where you can i can post things that people who are following this work or join uh, through youtube membership that can interact with me it's sort of new to me so i'm sort of trying to get the hang of it so i will post you know do a little announcement saying hey gang uh, these are some of the live streams i want to do if there's any live streams you want to do please tell us what you would want to do which day and what times work best for you and i'm going to do the same thing on patreon as well as discord patreon is a standing order there's people there that have been supporting this work for multiple a uh, few years now so it's a standing order if you are supporting this work through patreon please let me know what you would like to create content for i will do my best to make sure we get it done okay and we are in times of pandemics and we want to flatten the curve uh this is sort of the intro that i've been saying for most of our live streams as well as uh ending with them because we don't really want to overwhelm our healthcare systems uh there's a lot of dedicated people uh working trying to make sure that our societies are still functional everyone's taken care of uh, in the healthcare industry and the support staff, as well as other critical care workers, other critical workers that are providing, you know, making sure we do have access to food and transportation and all that jazz. Okay. Aside from that, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, I know the announcement is sort of going out late for some of these streams. Uh, last night's announcement, uh, we did a stream 12 hours ago, and last night's announcement went out i think two hours after we finish the stream so we'll see how this is working out okay swiss hello hello how are you doing no it's 6 15 p.m here but yes i just woke up yeah <laughs> if you're staying up till six seven o'clock in the morning i hope you're sleeping during the day wheezy k how are you doing i'm just gonna take these down okay randall randall hello hello Silb, Silbes, I love you, Chicho. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. Uh, appreciate it. It's one of the things that keeps me going as well. Okay. Uh, it's not Chicho, it's a pre recording. <laughs> yeah, the intro eh, changes every time. It's incredible. Incredible what AI can do, right? Hey, Chicho. Hey, Spider Man, how are you doing? Gina, how's life? Hope you're doing well. Hey, Chicho, how are you and your partner doing? Doing well, doing well. She's on the front line. She's a nurse. So um, I take her to work every morning, pick her up after work every morning. I make sure, uh, you know, th th as, as little stress as possible in our home environment, right? We eat well. Uh, I do a lot of cooking. I do a lot of, uh, you know, it's, it's a team teamwork right there's a lot of people that are on the front lines and they're they are under stress right so it's really important to create an atmosphere where everybody feels comfortable and safe and and just uh, th that people understand what's taking place right this announcement went out two minutes after uh start so who knows oh okay two minutes after start awesome awesome nikki's up how's it going i got it this time nice nice ding bobber how are you doing what do you think about the long-term effects of psychotropics versus the benefits benefit they give some people for instance i am aware of the dangers of the medication i am i am on but i need it unfortunately uh is chicho romantic <laughs> some would say yes some would say no depends on what you consider to be romantic right um ding bobber okay this request for this stream came through dante right and dante is one of the mods we have on discord and twitch okay and he has a lot of experience with psychotropics pharmaceuticals right i'm on the other end of the spectrum i don't have a lot of experience with psychotropics i've known a lot of people that are taking pharmaceuticals and i know the dangers involved with a lot of pharmaceuticals right but because as nasim nicholas tala would say i don't have skin in the game i i don't require the psychotropics or i don't think i do anyway i've had to del deal with traumatic events in my life where uh, mental health just again just like anyone 
that has lived a certain extended period of time that life deals you certain cards you go through ups and downs right but i've never taken the pharmaceuticals so dante is an amazing person and he is here and he's he's mentioned that if anybody has questions and he did request this uh live stream if they have any uh suggestions recommendations or questions uh that he would be available to answer that as far as i'm concerned be careful with pharmaceuticals do your research okay i know there are some people that require pharmaceuticals and they're way better off with it than without they are able to live their lives they become productive they they can study there's a lot of you know i've been at teaching for 20 years so i've i've seen students on and off some of the pharmaceuticals sometimes they didn't require to be on it right they just needed the information to come out of them in a certain style right sometimes they required uh to be on it right because once they go off of it they're all over the place it's just chaos right so uh, i would say learn about the side effects learn about the uh, and their interaction with other pharmaceuticals as well right and appreciate that one pharmaceutical if it works for other people it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you right so that's my opinion on it personally as far as myself i would try everything possible uh before like for me pharmaceuticals would be the absolute last resort that i would go to that's my take okay because i've seen it destroy some people's lives i found that it's important to find uh, ways to unplug and enjoy the moment when listening uh, to a lot of music and watching some comfort tv star trek tng what what are you doing to take care of your mental health during these pandemics i'm eating pies right i'm eating well right this is blueberry pie we paid another trip to the bakery and got us and i heated this up and i'm heating up the pies and bread and stuff like this just because of the times we're in so i'm eating well okay exercise is huge exercise that releases certain chemicals in your body that you need to be not just physically healthy but emotionally mentally healthy right so for me i found releasing that energy through exercise is an, is an amazing way to stay sane in this insane world right consuming consuming happy or entertainment that really uh makes you sort of escapism to a certain degree it makes you forget about the ills you may have is an amazing way to relieve yourself of stress right and one of the things that has to be part of our routine it can't be all science fiction horror uh fantasy or whatever it is there has to be a certain element of laughter um in some of the entertainment that you're consuming so laughing is huge absolutely huge right that's my take always be making and then i was there too how are you doing lonely piggy hey all super glad we get to talk about this subject i've been having some issues with my uh, with myself up there recently with the situation our world is in have been working about three times as much since the lockdowns and there are some uh residents in the elder homes i work at who have tested positive i've got people at home who are at risk so fear is starting to get to me yeah lonely piggy i think most healthcare workers uh that's the first that's that's the base thing that they've had to deal with right and i think the uh, the trick for us has been that you don't think about the worst case scenario you think about the the care that's being given and uh, the work that needs to be done right so it's become very not robotic i don't want to say robotic but more more in terms of the essence of it it's not about 
the fear factor so you, the, the fear has to be eliminated if you have people at home though make sure like for us we have a full routine of uh, making sure that you know uh, when my partner comes home uh, she's not walking around with her shoes all over her house and whatnot you know we have a box where she steps in and takes off her shoes and she puts her clothes in a place that we've set up that you know we wash after her set is done and stuff like this so there's got to be some kind of regiment that you have to do the best you can to make sure that things are contained right and as robert anton wilson would say robert anton wilson uh stated this i'm not sure if he was paraphrasing someone else or not everything's recycled anyway right but basically he said it's ridiculous to worry because if you worry then that means you think you have accountant for all possibilities and there are infinite number of possibilities out there so it's no use worrying right you just do the best you can with the knowledge you have and leave it at that if things work out right fantastic right you didn't introduce the worry into your life if things go sour you did the best you could with what you knew and the resources at your disposal you couldn't do any more than that right it's okay to be concerned but don't get caught up in the loop of fear and worry 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 right take the concern that you have and incorporate it into your life as a regiment to make sure things don't go south all right that's what we've been doing remember that taking uh taking head from the 80s talking head from the 80s he would make a good flatten flatten the curve re recording um the, the talking head would i don't know i, I can't remember any of the talking head lyrics hey what's the topic please the topic is mental health bh ha b4 ha max headroom max headroom yes dragon i believe i wouldn't be here today without uh pharmaceuticals yeah always be making i have friends uh that have told me the same thing which is important to keep in mind and they're the ones who because i used to be adamantly against pharmaceuticals right because i don't trust pharmaceutical industry right but after hearing the stories of friends and uh people i've worked with and people i've worked for tell me their stories i've changed my tune right it's not all bad just like anything right it, nothing's always all bad right well some things are maybe war is all bad right so i've changed my tune so it's very personal right it's you have to do the research to make sure that the side effects you can deal with if you can interact if you can mix the pharmaceuticals with other things if they're alternative to the pharmaceuticals you're taking right so maybe there are some medicinal plants that are out there that will have the same effects as the pharmaceuticals should you jump onto the medicinal and just throw away all, all the pharmaceuticals in one shot absolutely not i don't believe that right uh did you know uh that was real Ch -ch -ch. Uh, someone hacked the chicago tv station and played that video is does that max he max hedrum thank you for the throw uh my my pleasure then uh, bobber i try to do the best i can and seriously it it was a pretty serious readjusting of of thought in my mind and way of being for me to accept that pharmaceuticals are necessary for certain situations all right that pie looks incredible it's a really good pie you always have such good food to show us <laughs> and eating healthy is ridiculously important if the first order of business if you're having stress uh mental health issues physical issues whatever it is whatever issues you're having in life that is that is making you not appreciate this ride the first thing i would change i would change two things right or include two things into your life one of them is eating healthy not that the pie is healthy every now and then it's good to have a treat right you eat healthy and you exercise okay and the third thing which is at the same level stop consuming corporate propaganda 
right that crap will rot your soul right so one of the reasons i found that a lot of people have stress anxiety related issues about life is because they're consuming corporate propaganda okay so my recommendation on that front if you're watching cnn fox if you're reading washington post new york times forbes economist if you're reading and listening to any of our politicians really tuning in to to see what they have to say turn that crap off right just turn it off if you want to know what's going on you have to read analysis discussion of what is really taking place you have to know your place in history you have to know cause and effect action reaction solution right so one of the first things you need to do people need to do to have a better grasp of what life is really about is stop watching corporate propaganda go to individuals independent people that are real that don't have a corporate agenda that they're pushing basically people who haven't been bought and paid for a thousand times over that couldn't give a rat's ass about you all they care about is their bank accounts right oh man that looks so good <laughs> bye 80s hacking uh you could do that with uh nokia uh 3110 now nice buddy hey da, 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 da. stand up comedy specials have been a real bomb lately as well laughing is definitely important laughing is ridiculously important and for me i have a few to go to things i go to uh, that i watch if i want if i really want to have an amazing amazing uh time just to lift my energy and make me appreciate that this world this universe is more than what it seems one of them is space dandy right i think i watched space dandy from beginning to end three times now right cowboy bebop is heavier samurai shampoo is brilliant too okay samurai jack amazing so i watch anime a lot of anime repeats of anime new anime to lift me up okay I won't lie to you my mental health is problematic at the moment uh martin i i don't doubt it brother i don't doubt it everybody's problematic right now all right i'm back hey dante we have some people asking about pharmaceuticals i gave i gave my my take on it okay so you can put your uh two cents in worth and i'll read the comment uh, ba, 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 ba. it was from ding bobber and i gave my take on it but this is what he posted what do you think about the long-term effects of of psychotropics versus versus the benefit they give some people for instance i am aware of the dangers of the medication i am on but i need it unfortunately okay so i'm not sure if you have uh a, you know your perspective on that um and i think uh a ding is still around okay honestly i think everyone's mental health is being tested this is a slow motion trauma everyone is going through it's scary it's tough yeah and one of the things that uh, is stressing people out the most is because they don't know what's going on for us if you've been here for three months we talked about this we knew what was going on so one of the best things we can do for mental health one of the things i've had to do is not be caught by surprise to be aware of what's going on in our societies right because not knowing in the past would send me on the waves like this right i was at the uh, whim of corporate media propaganda politicians corporations of, of how they played with my emotions right so i took power back and I educated myself as to the ways of the world. Once I educated myself as to the ways of the world, that anxiety very much disappeared from my life. Okay. So take that however way you, you like. Dragon, I'm on the opposite end. This is the first time in years where I have the space to finally calm down and relax. I didn't realize just how high, strong, and irritable I've been. Awesome dragons. Fun, fun, fun. Very good. 
right? One of the things I'm appreciating with what's happening right now is people are moving slower. Things have slowed down, and that is crucial for mental health. What our current economic system tries to do is try to kick things into high gear because they need that growth, right? Consume, 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 work, 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 uh, do, 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 right? Cut that off, slow it down, breathe, read, exercise, walk, just sit down and think, right? Chill. One of the reasons there's major mental health issues is because people have never stopped doing, right? They never stopped and spent time alone, right? So that is crucial, Dragon. I can see it around me as well. There's a calmness. And it's initially it was fear. Now it's hmm, processing information, right? Appreciating the book they might be reading, the music they might be listening to one of the best things I I've read just a little quote I'm not sure which platform was I read it right but it said um, it, it basically um, I think I'm well I, oh, I'm gonna be paraphrasing but basically said remember who you turn to in times of chaos the artists right because what's happening is a lot of artists are creating music and paintings and talking and making videos and doing everything they can right to contribute a positive aspect to our society in these times of chaos we're not turning to the politicians or to the economists to give us comfort we're turning to the artists in the world to give us comfort right to see us through these hard times that's something everybody has to keep in mind so when this thing blows over the storm blows over don't forget the people who were there for you okay and make sure you hold the people accountable who took things away from you in times of chaos who try to accumulate more power for themselves in times of chaos right very important to put things into context once the storm passes Dante I'm so glad you recommended the subject awesome spider-man yeah Dante thank you Barat. like important okay i wouldn't have done it if you hadn't asked by the way just so you know uh it's something that i, I don't know if i'm comfortable with or not um for me i i i've gone through a lot of waves in my life right so i've been knocked down a lot uh if you follow my work you know why right uh you know just do a chicho how to deal with grief right uh so i've been hit pretty hard uh, multiple times and I've been able to lucky enough survive the impacts and have been able to lift myself up and every time I've come up I'm a little harder <laughs> okay so uh, I have empathy sympathy but when it comes to my own personal thing certain things I I'm, I go a little bit too hardcore on them so thank you Dante for bringing this up Elk's pride pictures. How are you doing, brother? 20 years ago, I started taking uh, prescription antidepressants at a time where information was much less ready, readily available. Anecdotes of personal experiences were harder to come by. And it, it seemed like something that was necessary for me at 21 years old. It can be a challenge to find resources for individuals struggling with what's commonly identified with depression and anxiety that aren't just medications i could talk on this all day yeah are you still uh elk pride are you still taking if you worry about something you can change uh you can change do do it if you can't change it there's no point worrying there's no point worrying I agree with Dante. I do my best, Lonely Picky. I do my best to stay positive and keep smiling because I know that whatever I'm afraid of, the other um, residents are feeling it tenfold. So it's about making them feel safe before myself. But it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, Lonely Piggy. Uh, I, I, I think people are realizing that uh, there are things in this world that are more important or things that we have to um, have in mind 
than some of the superficial things that have been rammed down our throats right so i think that's what really we're seeing that people are starting to care about the other what the other thinks how the other feels right so uh, that's the positive aspect of what's going on in our societies we're becoming more aware that we are very much connected right while before this we were very much disconnected right that connection i have a feeling that it's going to hold once the storm passes over prepare yourself for the societal changes that are coming on a positive light capital power will try to make sure they control everything we have to make sure that we stay on this path and take care of our communities and don't give up the power that we've acquired right now a lot of people may feel like they're powerless right now but this is the time where you do have the power you just have to use it in the right way right it's incredible it's an awakening really okay and that is the positive aspect of what's taking place i had major issues as a child i was expelled from school at five years five years old expelled from school uh, for attacking the teacher with a pencil <laughs> i'm laughing because i've been attacked with a pencil before i've had a pencil shoved into me and sticking out of me <laughs> and a five-year-old you don't know it's ridiculous to expel a five-year-old it is insane right absurd i'm sorry if i'm laughing martin by the way uh i hope i hope it's okay uh, i don't mean to make light of it okay but watching a little martin the five years old go with a pencil <laughs> this seems funny with the cider in his hand <laughs> i'm coming it's strange i'm fine throughout the week i work from home and i have online uni but i always take friday evenings off as a break for myself nice but lately i can't relax all of a sudden i feel all charged up and ready to do anything but sit and watch tv or read or draw or do anything i want to do throughout the week and it results in me wasting my friday evenings pacing around doing nothing or worse sitting at my desk and wasting time on my phone absurdicon um try cooking have you tried cooking cooking is very relaxing just introduce different routines that you might start appreciating if you're very anxious uh like feel antsy try to figure out what's making you feel antsy do you need to check news there's no problem checking out news if you if you feel antsy about it if your desire is there and your desire to do something and you holding back is making you anxious then fulfill that desire right i know that's sometimes the way it works for me if i have something on my mind that i need to do i can't really just sit back and not do it i do it and then i can sit back and chill and relax or at least i take a look at it and let the thought bounce around my mind right our lar all large companies product uh, all all large companies productivity has increased at an incredible rate and still people work the same amount of hours we will never be happy without our freedom almost everyone i know is unhappy we are slaves to the elite rendell a lot of people are right this is the time we need to take that freedom right free our chains break our chains right how we do it is going to be a long drawn out thing okay i love opiates heroin legal make heroin legal he says uh, you don't say <laughs> you want to defend this view in earnest or or are you just here to draw i think he's just here to troll want to see my stash yeah i ain't joking yeah opiate uh was a great first look at tools later later uh this this discography yeah mod zero tolerance so well uh, yeah by the way 
we're sort of going towards zero tolerance uh, for silly trolling, right? No, I just had lots of experience as a patient with opiates, Dante. Yeah, ah, cool. I seen the opiate defense force online before. It's a viewpoint. Chicho, what's up? Always be sleeping or sleeping waves. Always be sleeping. Sleeping wave. Sleepy waves. How are you doing? Oh my God. By the way, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs, gang. Appreciate it. Nicholas, how are you doing? Got some macaroon, um, uh, Moroccan hummus and celery for the stream. Nice. What snacks do you have? I don't have healthy snacks today. <laughs> I have blueberry pie. But hummus and celery stick better than this, brother. Better than this. We made a trip to the bakery and grabbed another pie. sometimes it's, it's required to have a treat right and these guys are these these guys are macaroons not macaroons what am i saying um <laughs> i forgot the word um it's the almond paste thing marzipan magical the comic book guy what's happening hello blah blah how are you doing welcome to our live stream uh -huh. elk i try to make film and music that deals with mental health as a way of turning my own experiences into something that might help in some small way to remove stigmas and taboos around issues of depression and anxiety awesome elk right and that's one thing that's helped me out as well sharing information and by the way for those of you that are on the stream right now or watching this uh this stream later on right elk pride pictures has put out a movie independent movie um um oh my god the name it was on my tongue i had to do the intro for it and I, uh, oh man elk it it went away um wretch i knew it'd come back to me he put out an independent movie called wretch it's a fun movie i've watched it okay if you like b sci-fi horror um sort of funny uh and sort of out of this world type of show uh i highly recommend watching it i think it's going to be released in a couple of weeks or it's already released mortar mortar and pestle oh my god space dandy yeah space dandy so good <laughs> that's a tibetan singing bowl oh this guy yeah every in in my part of the world every every day at 7 p.m okay in vancouver in victoria at 7 p.m to show tribute to the healthcare worker workers everybody's going outside and bringing pots and pans and banging them and clapping right so at 7 p.m every day uh in victoria and vancouver anyway i don't know if this is happening in other cities every, at 7 p.m because the shifts over they work 12-hour shifts right at 7 a.m and 7 p.m they switch over at 7 p.m. I take this by the window and go ding 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 right and then I go pick up my partner okay important important it makes people feel good the 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 sense of community in our in our lives right now is amazing so much more intense than it has been for years right because people realize we're in this together really there's a huge huge positive uh, aspect to what is taking place right now it is empowering make sure you embrace it okay don't get caught up in the fear and the hype and the anxiety of corporate propagandas look around your community and realize what's taking place right participate in it support it uh, make sure you make it a permanent state of being okay that is how you can deal with the 
anxiety and the and the fear and the mental health issues that are some people might be going through i think everyone's going through but you can find support within your community it is extremely important and it is extremely empowering okay patreon you won f92 thank you very much for popping up the patreon here's our patreon page Boop. it's a great way to follow this work um, if you have the funds fantastic way to support it if you don't have the funds you can just follow and notifications will be sent to you whenever we load something on right uh, and if you have if you're following the work there if you are supporting that work if there's anything you want to talk about make sure you let me know and we'll either set up a stream for an open discussion or I'll create a video to address some of the topics that you would like to cover and that goes with people who are on our twitch discord page okay you can definitely contact me through twitter gabs minds vk and elo as well as bitshoot and youtube and we do have youtube membership available right now as well right we just became available in the last couple of weeks so for the youtube members there's a little community section there if there's anything you'd like to see us create content for please post a comment and uh, let me know and i'll try to make sure we get it done okay I don't know how where the chat is i'm going to scroll down a little bit gang uh, elk i'm going to get outside and take a walk before it rains be well everyone thanks for this forum a topic very important to me awesome elk i hope you enjoy your walk and everyone if you can get your hands on wretch uh what elk pride pictures has made it's a fun movie okay oh wow there's a lot of chat going on I'm just gonna scroll down. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh wow! Ch -ch -ch. Okay, I'm all the way down to the bottom, gang. So if there's anything that was addressed towards me, uh, please let me know. I think Dante is taking care of a lot of business and talking to people, and there's a fair bit of mods here which are uh, doing well. Um, they're they're here to make sure uh, everybody's taken care of, and thank you very much, mods. Uh, Dante, that is very very true so merely human how are you doing iron smash how are you doing welcome welcome there's a lot of people have popped in uh, nick everdin laugh a lot people debating religion in chat i wrote they're they're allowed to debate religion if they want all right it's okay catholic traditionalist how are you doing good afternoon good folks good afternoon to you as well and happy easter to you catholic traditionalist traditionalist and to everyone all right do you believe in the law of attraction uh i believe in doing uh but i but i do believe that if you put yourself in a state of being you will exist in that state of being if you put yourself in the state of anxiety you will experience life in a state of anxiety if you put yourself in a state of caring you will experience your life through the perspective of empathy and caring so uh but if you think uh, you know i believe if i draw a picture of a mansion and i put it on my on my on my desk and that is you know i will have a mansion uh maybe but i have no desire to have that constantly in my life the thought of that for me it's life that matters not accumulation of material possessions right it's experience it's doing so maybe that is what i'm attracting right your plants make me happy me too magic magicum magicum me too what's up chicho and chat felix how are you doing welcome welcome hannah hello 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 had a huge trip planned to take uh to lake chelan in august with friends and that will likely get cancelled so every everything is ruined for the best time of the year hannah don't consider it as being ruined like as you know i go to festivals in the summer all the festivals music festivals are gone right they're canceled and that's when i do some dancing some serious uh journeys in uh sort of on the mindset of heroic uh heroic journeys uh as terence mckenna would put it okay um 
but I don't consider it being ruined. It's just another state of being, right? I'll have to find alternative ways to experience that, right? Spider-Man, I'll be back. I'll be lurking for a bit. Lurk away, brother. The world could use an Easter about now, I think. Yeah, this is a safe space unless you troll. Yeah. Oh, is tomorrow Easter? I think it's to, it, today. Some people celebrate today, some people tomorrow, right? I think that message was healthy. Da, 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 da. That's what I'm feeling. This situation calls for a new lens on the world. Like the old uh, rules don't apply. Frankly, it's a relief. It's a relief. Dragons. Right? Da, 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 da. I'm so depressed. Hannah, you shouldn't be depressed. Get yourself out of that. Look at the positive that's taking place. Think about what's here, Hannah. Just name one positive aspect of what's happening right now. One positive, right? One positive. And you know what I'm going to ask you next? Next, what's, can name me two positives? Because there's multiple positive things that are taking place right now, right? What's the main content of the stream usually? Mental health? No, Nick. Uh, we do, God, in, in our last five four we've done current events we've done math tutorial we've done economics we've talked about education and this is mental health and we're going to be doing uh comic book reading we go all over the place all over the place ding chicho have you ever heard of uh guy goyas usa guy usa i'm using it as a replacement i know that word I've seen it before, but I can't put it somewhere. Uh, replacement for energy drinks, which have a terrible effect on my overall energy level. Yeah, energy drinks stay away from. That's pure poison, as far as I'm concerned. Crashing hard and feeling, feeling terrible. Plus, they are very unhealthy. Uh, Goyas, US, U, I can't even pronounce that, is a leaf from Ecuador, high in nutrients, but also caffeine, highly recommended. Uh, brother, energy drinks, cut that crap out that's like telling me mm, oh you don't feel good because uh, and you know mcdonald's makes you feel bad i go oh, <laughs> stop eating mcdonald's <laughs> right it, eat an apple if, if you're hungry uh so energy drinks it is like poison it like really just cut poison from your life your mental health will, will improve right Ch -ch -ch. Da, da, da. I'm gonna scroll down. Heroic dose. <laughs> Chicho, what would you rather? A million dollars or extra two years to your lifespan? Um it, it, it really depends on my health, right? If I'm if I'm pooping and pissing myself, I can't walk. I need a machine to breathe it through and I'm in pain I don't want an extra two years right so it, it, it's not life uh, how long you live it's the quality of life you have right I've always mentioned this it's not how long the relationship lasts right it's not about longevity it's about quality right it's about intensity so I, I can't I, I don't I, I don't consider money and life to be in the same category to choose from right it doesn't it doesn't register with me they're not compatible right Felix I think that the law of attraction sometimes works in the fact that the more you desire something you you'll either subconsciously or consciously put yourself in a situation in situation to attract the thing you desire towards yourself yeah and you're gonna work towards it right like it's just a reminder the law of attraction is basically a reminder hey this is what you want to do do it <laughs> like, in large part right the one thing that brings me happiness is cannabis okay good okay hannah here's one positive aspect of what's taking place right now which should make you ecstatic the cannabis industry is becoming legitimate right and this pandemic is accelerating that rollout of the industry within our societies so if that is making you happy then 
look into how you can incorporate not just consuming cannabis but making the cannabis industry a part of your life right embrace what makes you happy what energizes you what motivates you right okay hannah what's the second thing that is a positive from this life from what's going on right now I'm going to scroll down and look for anything directed towards me merely human I just got to check to see there's a lot of chat going on oh wow and that's why there's a lot of chat going on there's a lot of people here hello everyone how are you doing I hope you guys are doing well okay uh, merely human I want you to know that I am grateful for the privilege to be in your uh, it's my privilege really I, I love this I love open discussion I'm against censorship and shutting people off right so I love this open platform that we can talk right so thank you but it's it's my privilege okay privilege to be in your chat and hear your message of resilience in this tragic time I feel that you are using your social power in a good way for the well-being of others and it is an infectious mindset thank you for this thank you for being here merely human and if it's a law of attraction I want to do this so we're having this right but it's not just me doing this is you guys are looking for this so we just are able to put this together thanks to technology and a little bit of work from our end right we just had to make sure that we were set up for this thing a huge thank you to the mods for taking care of business by the way we would not be here in this form if it wasn't for the mods right Catholic traditionalist sent uh, spend a day of prayer for fasting and meditation yesterday very good day for physical spiritual and emotional health yeah and fasting is amazing by the way Catholic traditionalist brings this up fasting is amazing okay if you've never done fasting before do a little bit of research and do some fasting incorporate fasting into your life right incorporate I'll, I always go back to food, but make sure you're consuming good food. Make sure you're not overeating. Overeating is it, it, it's one of the worst things you can do in your life. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. We will be stuck inside for forever. Medical uh, inside forever. Medical community is making zero progress. There won't be a vaccine for a year. Hannah, I'm not looking for a vaccine. To bring us out of this personally the vaccine is not the ultimate goal as far as I'm concerned the restructuring of a political economic system to be able to deal with these types of situations is my solution to what's happening right that means decentralization making this sure the supply chain doesn't uh, is not interrupted so easily it's making sure our economic system is not so fragile where anyway this is all politics and stuff and one of the main things is food security and community right so it's not vaccine that i think is the solution to all of this it's everything else that is the solution to what's taking place that's my take okay da, 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 da. so i'm going to keep on scrolling down gang if i see chicho's i'm going to read uh sleepy wave chicho any advice on forgiveness and learning to work uh, lean on from a place of kindness instead of judgment I feel like I am so frustrated for feeling like I am doing too little not working enough uh, sleepy waves um, uh, forgiveness that's hard right the first thing you have to do is forgive yourself right so one of the things that people have a hard time with is like you said forgiveness right forgiving others and stuff like this but I think the first place that begins is to forgive yourself because we all really we all loop things in our lives that we wish we hadn't done right oh if only this I wish I didn't do this oh what a mistake take that in right and you can loop it for a while to try to figure out what the mistake was that you did right what the wrong turn was that you took but as long as you're in a place that is improving you're happy with your progression and that is key right try to improve every day then let go 
of that regret forgive yourself once you forgive yourself for certain things that you have done in the past and we all have we all have really there isn't a single person that hasn't made tremendous errors in their lives then you can easily forgive others as well okay as far as doing too little and stuff like this and um, not working enough incorporate something in your life that is going to help you uh, I don't want to say help you, but basically deal with what you're feeling, right? If you don't feel like you're doing enough, then look into your inside your community to see what needs to be done, right? Right now, there are people in our community that are putting posts out for the elderly or whatnot saying, hey, if there's anything you need, you know, we're making a batch of stew. Anybody need a batch of stew, need some food, we'll deliver it to you, right? And they go deliver it or they arrange for someone to come and pick it up so even the smallest thing that you do to contribute to your community can be extremely helpful right and it'll make you feel amazing like seriously one of the reasons i'm here doing this i started making videos doing blogging and stuff like this was for mental health i saw our society going down a toilet in the early 2000s and by 2005 i was spending i like if you guys like i'm doing a lot of work right now like really uh, my full-time gig is this even though the money aspect of it doesn't reflect that right but i spend more time making videos doing live streaming doing all the social media doing all this stuff than i do teaching students right okay but the reason i got into this and i was i've been doing this for 15 years right I, I, my first blogs I put out were 2005 and the reason I started blogging was because I was in a state where I saw the world going down the toilet and I had to contribute in a way to prevent that right to make it go down a different direction or as much as I could anyway right so the one thing you could do is start a blog and write about something share information become a node and a lot of you will know that i mentioned this before i'm just acting as a node right i'm taking information and passing it along as much as i can a lot of the times some of the times i'm taking information remixing it maybe mathematics maybe food maybe this maybe politics maybe economic maybe whatever it may be right and then spreading that right so if you act as a node, as long as you're doing and sharing information, that will lift you up. It did me anyway, really, where I can sleep soundly at night, even though sometimes I only sleep four hours because I'm very excited. I got something to do, right? I get up at 4.30 in the morning, I'm like, start working away because I love it, right? <laughs> I'm just scrolling down, gang. Uh, Caseman Martin Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Looks like there's a little bit of troll action going on. Uh, good evening, Chicho, and good evening, people. Loki, how are you doing? Loki Star, welcome to another stream. Coolio, how's it going? Uh, sleepy waves. Re reminder to stay hydrated. Reminder to stay hydrated. <laughs> That's true. Eh? Here's my tea. Um, stormy winks you mentioned that fasting can also be terrible yeah do your research really like everything that I say do your research like I've known people that try to fast for 10 days don't fast for 10 days unless you know what it is that you're doing because after three days your body starts consuming your own muscles it needs protein right so the longest fast I've done is three days okay I won't do from the research I've done I won't do longer than three day fast okay uh, right now anyway and that might change my mind if I do further research okay ba, 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 ba. I'm just gonna scroll gang perps how you doing hey Chicho what do you think of neutral neutropics like semax the hack the 
AXA that improve cognitive functions and treat depression and neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. I don't know anything about them, perps. I don't. Dante might have a better uh, opinion on that. Uh, but I know people who have Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and stuff, and they take pills up the yin-yang. And from what I understand, they have to, right? I personally haven't had to deal with that, and I hope I never do. Uh, so, uh, but if I do, I will definitely do the research into these pharmaceuticals for sure. So do your research. Ding Boober, uh, I've heard that you should leave uh, 16, 18 hours a day for your body to digest food. Also, you should go to bed hungry. Yeah, hungry for sure. Don't eat heavy before you go to sleep. Uh, hungry and not eat right before bed is it true that when you fast you have more energy and your body has more capacity to heal um, let me read your next sentence hope so because I've been uh, leaving big gaps between my last meal and next day's meal uh, I can tell you from experience thing when I fasted my energy level just went through the roof like you think I'm pretty active right now my energy level when I was fasting for three days, 95% of the time, I was high octane, right? Burning fuel, like really high energy, doing a lot, multitasking up the yin yang, mind very clear. But there was like 5% where I all of a sudden would crash and I would just go, Whoo. and then that would last a few minutes, half an hour maybe, and then energy would pick up again, boop, right? so i can i can give you my experience with it yeah the if you're because consuming food uh digesting uses up uses up a lot of energy right like one of the greatest inventions that humanity has ever had was fire and it's not just because it provided protection and heat and all that jazz is because you cooked food so it began the digestive process to a certain degree it made it made food easier for us to digest so it saved us energy right it was a conservation of energy that was really the mechanism that made fire so powerful for us it wasn't just because it provided heat and fire it was because it allowed us to eat foods more easily digest food more easily and get that energy out of it right so yeah don't constantly feel live in a state of fullness that's disaster right feeling hungry is a good thing if you haven't felt hungry for years uh try it out okay and i'm not talking about oh i feel like snacking i'm talking about hungry right i know a lot of people that haven't felt hungry for years because they're constantly eating that'll destroy you Okay. Sil, Sil, Chicho, if you remember when you were at your worst and imagine others being there at some point, it helps me to forgive uh, sometimes. Nice. You said you do this more than, uh, more than teaching students, but you are teaching us. You are informing us. Thus, we are great my pleasure so uh, it's thank you how do you uh, consume cannabis uh, vape Nicholas it will consume fat before muscle uh, and if you fast right you can still work out I do prolong fast pretty regularly yeah you can definitely work out if you're fasting and yeah you do consume fat but fat doesn't contain protein as far as i understand nicholas and one thing that happens your brain needs protein okay so if you're not consuming protein during fasting for an extended period of time you might feel a little foggy if you're feeling foggy sit down relax right don't go hardcore when you're fasting rambo how are you doing uh, and yeah fasting definitely consumes fat right but you don't want to go to a point where your body's protein de deprived 
so it goes after your muscles you remind me of Serge Tankian uh, stunning stun, stun? Um, I've heard that a lot and if you want to know my take on system of a down do Chicho system of a down review I wrote a review of their music back in 2005 okay it was a really good review it's a fantastic review nice fasting still it's fasting is life-changing right ba, 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 ba. Anuj are you guys talking about intermittent fasting yeah Anuj people are talking about fasting and I think it's an amazing way to improve your life uh, really builds up a connection between yourself and food uh, huge 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 right if you're missing that connection between your life and your food do what you need to do to build up a connection with your food again that that includes cooking that includes fasting that includes uh, acquiring healthier food that includes eliminating garbage food such as energy drinks or uh, junk food restaurant places anxiety has been stopping me from uh, mask of raven anxiety has been stopping me from getting more into math education and helping people in that way we're we're all allow, allowed to uh, feel anxious a uh, mask of raven and we go through cycles right so if you're feeling anxious you're not doing it just chill with it and then come back slowly again right by the way mask of raven has helped us out a lot during our math streams and he's offered his help on our discord for anyone that has math questions for that mask of raven thank you very much as well as others as well right yeah ramadan it's part of a ritual for many people chicho you should do a music discussion live stream ah ding bobber just think just because it came up right uh we've done a little bit of music before and after like we're gonna have a four-day break i believe that's when the next four or five streams are scheduled i think the next one we do is going to be on thursday during that time i'm going to be loading up i think pretty sure the monopoly live streams we did on twitch from like two years ago i'm going to load those on youtube okay however after the next round of streams that we already got scheduled done i've already talked to my partner okay and she's she does a little dj mixing electronic music and she's talked to um three other dj friends that they have and the odds are in the next set of streams that i'm going to announce we're going to set up a day where she's going to do mixing you guys are going to listen to some of the electronic i listen to because she's my electronic music source right because i don't have to put the energy in there to seek out electronic music and if 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 you're into music you know it takes a fair bit of effort to find good music right so i do my hip-hop and metal uh, and alternative types of music my research and i listen to that stuff and she's doing all the electronic stuff her taste is amazing so i think what we're trying to set up is uh four djs in a row okay maybe three maybe four maybe five right so we just say four where she does a session and there's a couple of people that are getting on twitch they're creating new channels so she might do a dj mix and then we're gonna raid the next person that's going to be doing uh the dj set and then from there raid to the next one raid to the next one we'll we'll try to set it up okay uh so we're gonna do a test run just make sure everything's gonna work out okay we might need to get some wires and stuff to make it happen but we'll see okay and yeah music for sure thanks chicho that means a lot oh mask of raven my pleasure man seriously you've helped me out your math is power more powerful than mine you've been correcting my mistakes and stuff which i appreciate so you've been teaching me uh same with oddmic and a couple other people that have been uh there for the math stuff which is fantastic man i love it uh and I, one of the reasons i got into blogging which was was to share information right i knew the sh world was going to hell in the hell basket shit in this hell ba i don't know what the saying is right but when i started getting blogging and stuff like this the surprising aspect to me the thing that really blew me away was i started learning at a rapid pace 
so i appreciate all the feedback and all the interaction i've received right case man down here uh, down here with us at the bottom of chat we had someone earlier asking about your qualification to provide mental health advice i have none life right i don't have a degree want to address that since we have an audience of decent size okay like if, if you're looking for a piece of paper i have none however i got experience up the yin yang right i've gone through some serious hard times just so you know i know some people know this already but in my life i've buried two brothers okay so that sends you on a loop where uh you become insane right the world is like it's it's devastating and then you lift yourself back up okay coolio awesome case man oh my god dj stream yes 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 okay chicho do you think mental health issues are becoming more prevalent or is it just that we are becoming more aware of them bird i think what's happening is mental health issues people are considering it to be mental health right and it is to a certain degree right like one of the things i tell people is this like people say oh certain entheogens make them paranoid right like cannabis and stuff they oh it makes me paranoid man I, I i can't do it i go well maybe you should be paranoid right maybe you should be paranoid right so what we're seeing right now is people have been living in a certain way and in a sort of a delusion right where they think the world is supposed to operate this way and now they're beginning to realize that wait a second uh, this is not working this doesn't make sense it's an illusion right the veil has been lifted the emperor has no clothes the economic system is a sham right the political system is a circus it's 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 ridiculous our judiciary system is is show trials the policing force is enforcement right all of these things that we're supposed to have faith in believe in give our lives for are a sham right so all of a sudden people are having to adjust to that so i don't necessarily consider this uh as you said what is it uh becoming uh, mental health becoming more prevalent is the veil has been lifted the truth is coming out and people need to deal with that okay we're awakening as a global community right as a society as a family right and we're all awakening at the same time right there are some people that knew what was going on but a huge mass of the population is now becoming aware that oh my god what right should we consider that mental health or should we call it awakening right realization Da, 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 da. I'm gonna scroll down. Going to hell, going to hell in a handbasket. Thank you very much, Case Man. Chicho, many mental health issues diagnosis is based on what patients say. Many doctors question the current system of dealing with mental health problems and uh, descri describing drugs, prescribing drugs. Yeah. Many mental. I'm gonna read that again, Sil. Chicho, many mental health issues issues diagnosis is based on what patients say many doctors question the current system of dealing with mental problems and prescribing drugs as they should and many people should do this as well right many people should do this as well people put too much faith in the system and many people have been burned by it right I found myself nick i find myself taking dmt and magic mushrooms and they have unlocked all the suppressed terrible emotions i've had since childhood you're breaking down barriers walls rambo i love you i love you guys too wow i made it down to the bottom what the whoa 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 sweetness i'm at the bottom of the chat are we still streaming nice awesome cool cool 
uh, Ding. It's a very explosive performance with excellent musicians all around. The lead performer shreds the ukulele like I've never seen. <laughs> Obviously, I missed part of the discussion on this. Anuj, yeah, Chicho, laws are based on legal fiction. When the fiction starts to fade away, people have existential crises. Yeah, and I think it's a good thing that we're having an existential crisis. Hi from the bottom of chat again. Hello, case man. How are you doing? Do you have a cure for Corona now? Um, education, information. Is it a cure? I don't know. It allows you to deal with things. What music festival do you go to? I was planning on going to one in Montreal before all this pandemic stuff. I go to, there's two that we have planned on going to this summer. Local music festivals that uh, one of them that we've been going to so sad that we're not going to go we were going we've gone for four years in a row right i think four years in a row now where they have something called a silent disco because they're doing the thing in a park in the city it's a small small town we can't call it a city it's a small town right it's a small town and it's in a park so at 12 o'clock or one o'clock in the morning they they have djs come up and they have three DJs set up, right? And it's electronic, right? So they have three DJs set up and you put on headphones and it's called silent disco. And it's not disco music, it's electronic mixing DJs, right? And they have you have three channels you can tune into and they change colors and each DJ is designed the color, right? Blue, green, red, right? And you see a couple of hundred people, right? to 300 people with headsets on that have different colors tuning into the different DJs and you can see who's playing, who's listening to what music. It is absolutely phenomenal. And it goes until sunrise, like five, four, five, six, five o'clock in the morning, right? Amazing. It's beautiful, right? Chicho, I have to recommend NPR music, tiny desk concert. Also, I was talking about the Tien, uh, tien many tiny desk uh, ding if you can go to our discord and post what you recommend in our music folder I would gladly check them out okay uh, because there's no way I'm gonna remember this and be able to find this in chat again don't you sing a song why don't I sing a song for you everyone is so depressed please uh, bring us some joy again Rambo I have a horrendous voice, but I can send you a per Persian song that I've known since childhood, right? Uh, what is it? It's Golis Sangam, and my partner found a, a electronic set that mixes this. <laughs> oh my God! What does it go? It says Golis Sangam, Golis Sangam, Chibegam as Delatangam, Mese Oftab Agebarman. Natabi Sardamo Birangam. Da 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 da. I don't know. I don't know the next lyrics, the next verses. Basically, it says, "I'm the, I'm the rock, uh, pebbles, in the, in the bottom of a pot, of flour. Golisangam, golisangam, chibegam as delatangam. How can I? So it says, I'm a, I'm the pebbles in in the in the pot." of fl uh, flowers that that are in there she began as the tangam how can i tell you that my heart aches go to sangam go to sangam she began as the tangam miss off top i get bad man not to be sad if you don't if you don't give me water i'll uh miss off top not up if you don't water me i will dry up and uh I will I will be cold and without color, without life. Right? I'm just translating as best as I can from Farsi. Okay. Aside from that, I I know lyrics from some other stuff. I used to know a lot more in lyrics. Uh, and I know some if I have hear the tune playing, right? Oh yeah, Detroit claims they created the silent disco because they unveiled it years ago at their uh, movement festival formerly called Detroit Electronic Music Festival. Oh, really? 
I have a relative and friends that have gone to the electronic Detroit Electronic Music Festival. They they loved it. They loved it, right? Grand National this year. The online one they did was rigged. The Grand National. What's the Grand National, Martin? If you're gonna troll, be like Rambo. At least be funny. Yeah. Like Rambo pops in and he's doing funny stuff, request stuff, and he's not rude, he's kind, and that's fine. And I don't consider that trolling. I consider that wanting to interact in a in in a way that he wants to interact, but it's not uh destructive, right? And I sang for you guys because of Rambo, right? <laughs> I have audiophile headphones. Uh, send he said that. Okay, so someone's talking. Hey, Air Manj, Manj, how are you doing? Yes. Hi. Are uh, you familiar with John Zerzan? If yes, what's your? I don't know John Zerzan. Sorry. Case man, close back. Right. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, Felix, about a month ago on a stream, you recommended three, three six mafia on South Park Mexican. Yeah, I checked them out and I really like them. I usually listen to more calm rap, like a tribe call. Tribe call quest is amazing, right? Um, but I really like three six mafia. Yeah, th three six mafia is phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. I've been listening to Ras Kaz, but I switched over to three, uh, three six mafia again. I was looping three six mafia on the ground one two three for a couple of weeks two or three weeks on my walks and then i went to ras kaz uh nas kaz nas raz oh god and, and i did it in a couple of walks i was like okay no back to three six mafia their lyrics are so much tighter hypnotic their their hi-hat going and their rhythm and their heavy lyrics and south park mexican man i gotta begin to loop that again i listened to everything south park mexican put out uh 20 years ago I looped that stuff for a few years, right? And I knew a lot of the lyrics. Wiggy, 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 can't you see? <laughs> Are you singing Persian? I'm singing really old school Persian music. Rambo was trying to be funny, mods. I think Chicho would have laughed. Oh, what did Rambo say? You guys didn't delete Rambo, did you? I don't mind Rambo. No, you guys didn't kill Rambo. Did you guys kill Rambo? Oh, nice. Rambo's back. Thanks for removing that. Yeah, uh, bringing him back, uh, Case Man. Thank you. Yeah, Rambo's legit. La Rambo's okay. Don't ban Rambo. Rambo, are you still here? Rambo said never sing again. No, no, it's okay. He can say never sing again. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I already told you. I have a horrendous voice. Rambo, I hope you come back. One of my baseball players is Persian. His family rule in his is he only is allowed to speak farsi to his mother and english to his father the mom wants the culture and language to continue on what a beautiful way to preserve culture yeah language is important persian philosophy and poetry is superb superb so superb who did that da, 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 da. last time i went to movement ba, ba, ba. horse racing thank you ba. wiggy 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 can't you see I listen to Tribe Call Quest almost every day when I go on walks. Uh, that combination is meditative, meditative. Rambo was back, it's fine. Is he back? Awesome, awesome, okay. He was unbanned, nice. I love you, awesome Rambo, thank you. I'm glad you didn't go away. I love Rambo, mods are paranoid. Yeah, one thing that's happened, we had some nasty mods come here, right? So we're a little bit on a hair trigger, right? So if you're trying to troll troll in a good way, Rambo, thank you for coming back. <coughs> Apex twins, nice. Nervous with all these folks in here. How many we got? Yeah, we're gonna get uh, uh, just a heads up mods. Uh, we're gonna start getting more and more people coming in. Um, I think we're about to kick it into the next phase of Chicho. I hope we're ready for it. <laughs> Say no to homophobia. Don't do drugs. Stay in school. <laughs> Thank 
you for the public service announcement. <laughs> Lots of mods are in here. Awesome. One of the greats. Apex Twins. One of the greats. You should become Canadian president. No. But please, wear your hat there too. Ah, maybe. Maybe. It's nice being aerodynamic. So, can we have a sexy time with Chicho once a month? What do you mean? How so? A Catholic traditionalist, I find singing to be very important activity, good for the soul. I never let my poor singing ability get in the way of belting out a song or two. <laughs> nice Catholic traditionalist. I do for metal. I do for metal. When I go to shows, and electronic, when they mix in, they do a lot of mixes and stuff. There is, man, there is there's some electronic that I danced to last summer, which, oh my God, my heart pounding, just the energy. It was like a hurricane. It was like a hurricane and it lasted for hours, right? thanks to heroic doses as terence mckenna would say almost heroic doses can't do heroic doses on that level right half heroic doses da, 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 da. Uh, mods an innocent was almost killed by a loyal <laughs> a loyal knight your favorite film in cinema was moulin rouge i i wouldn't say it's my favorite film it's the one i went to see the most I still remember yeah rambo i went and saw moulin rouge in the theater 11 times okay because it was needed to be washed on a big screen and i love the music i love the dancing and i love the beauty of it all okay i've never watched it again on a small screen it's just not the same uh it's one of my top movies because i've seen the most because it was so brilliant but it needs to be seen on a big screen there are many other movies that I would high rank as higher than moulin rouge in terms of their power right in terms of their brilliance in terms of their their essence the meaning of it right i just thought moulin rouge was brilliantly brilliantly done and i was pretty sure we weren't going to see something like that again for a very long time since you can still drive under lockdown get in the car and throw on some music and sing at the top of your lungs while driving yeah case man yeah because he said that 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 chicho hannah what is your drug of choice at electronic concerts i wouldn't say drug it's, it's uh, hannah it's I, I like i like natural substances entheogens right uh i know i knew 11 times <laughs> I know people thought it was crazy. <laughs> Got to go to a Godspeed, you black. Oh, I saw Godspeed, you black emperor. I think I've seen Godspeed, you black emperor concert before all this. Any fan? Oh, no, no. I have. Have I seen Godspeed, you black emperor? No, I've seen. Uh, no, but I I listened to Godspeed, you black emperor. If you guys want epic music, really epic music that just goes. Oh, by the time you're done 15 minutes 20 minutes later you're one track 10 minutes later you're like wow magnificent highly recommend second godspeed you black emperor one of the greatest musical groups that has come to be in the last 20 30 years okay magnificent magnificent Ch -ch -ch chicho will you ever make another beard video for sure intelligent blueberry i will guaranteed i'm just loving this right now and if i love something right now in the the way uh like uh, it's just i appreciate it right now so i don't feel like changing it up i almost did couple of years ago but then it just stuck human beings are social creatures we need those collective experiences food for the soul we will appreciate them so much more yeah 
yeah i need to go to a lot of shows i was going to a bunch before the pandemic i am seriously getting the itch again yeah hearing uh maldic front row was pretty sick they their violinist is awesome nice seeing you calls my soul thanks rambo Seeger ross nice live now that was an experience awesome awesome always be making have you ever uh, chicho have you ever considered making a twitch team like team chicho could be streamers from chat mods under the same banner and same philosophy um i don't know i don't know what that entails always be making i know there are teams but i i was assuming there were gaming teams that go play the same you know they go play a game together and they're taking on other people right i don't know if making a team uh between us is a, is a thing to do right i know collaboration takes a lot of effort for me right uh because i don't want to let anyone down i want to make sure things are going smoothly and stuff so it's, if if you know it's uh it's extra time that needs to be put in that i haven't had the you know there's a lot of back back end stuff that i'm doing right now and uh my list of things to do is growing longer and longer but i'm not opposed to it if you guys want to uh you know propose something uh we can definitely talk about it on discord show us what's under the hat under the hat this aerodynamics We'll go, what do you call this? <laughs> we'll go aerodynamic for the rest of the stream. Do you still use coconut oil? Yeah, intelligent blueberry. Like I want to start using it myself, but I don't like shaving. Yeah, yeah, I just use a little bit of coconut oil. Uh, and ch -ch 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 -ch. It's, it was fantastic. But once I started using coconut oil for shaving, I never went back, really. I never went back. Okay, I'm scrolling down, gang. I'll look into it. Okay, I'll always be making cool aerodynamics. Bah. And by the way, I can honestly tell you, uh, this, uh, there are certain people that if you like, <laughs> if uh, that would rather interact with you if you're this than if you have hair, right? Uh, whoever you might be attracted to uh, this does attract uh, a certain group of people that love this <laughs> and you can wear this well you can wear this well uh, coolio chicho i forgot to get a haircut before quarantine began should i just take the plunge and make my head aerodynamic too i'm 25 so i don't know if that's too young for the shaved bald look i went this at uh, 23 okay i went aerodynamic at 23 and i had more hair then but once i took it off i never went back i didn't go back I was like, what am I? What was I thinking? Zero maintenance cost me nothing, right? It was brilliant. That's sick. The social distance kills me. I haven't uh, hugged anyone in three weeks. Oh no. I shaved my head a couple of days ago. It makes things easier, makes things easier. Just be careful with the sun. The first time I did it, I burned my head. <laughs> I was like, oh, damn. I didn't realize how easily skin burns, right? So you need a hat. I wear a hat. And once you start wearing toques and hats, you're like, oh, nice, right? I feel that. It sucks, yeah. Aerodynamic means having hair grow only on one side. <laughs> I shave bald multiple times, even though I can still grow hair. Yeah, I'm getting my hair cut, 
with someone I live with. If they screw up, whatever, whatever, not going out. <laughs> Mask of Raven, funny. I know a lot of uh, a lot of people are having a hard time with their hair situation right now, especially women. They're like, they're used to getting haircuts and trims and stuff like this. All of a sudden, their hairs are they're cut in a certain style what's going on so i'm pretty sure videos views on online right now people giving hair advice has gone up huge 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 right me too i'm a shaven haven now <laughs> nice it's so easy it's so easy to manage oh my god the amount of time and headache and really money i have no idea how much i've, I've saved I own three dozen hats. It's it's a problem, is it? I like hats. Chicho aerodynamic products. Go for it. Nice. Ding. Most memorable concert for you. Mine is Arcade Fire front row on their uh, ref contour, where the girl came out with a bodysuit of mirrors and reflectors, light. Ah, oh, that's super cool. Most memorable. I have a few. Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast in the 1980s. Amazing. Amazing. Death Leopard in the 1980s, believe it or not. Amazing. The energy was phenomenal. And we were a whole bunch of us, and we were on the floor, for, both for Iron, Iron Maiden. No, Iron Maiden were on the floor, but Death Leopard were on the floor, and we were a little chaotic, so there was a lot of destruction going on, right? Um, uh, Roger Waters at the Gorge in Washington, where he he opened up the the music, where he played a strum, and his jet flew over the amphitheater, open the air amphitheater. It was absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. There's tons of electronic shows, which um, it, if electronic uh, festival that I've went to, memorable four years in a row. I went to a festival on the west on the west coast of Vancouver Island called sound wave for two years of that i videotaped it if you go to on my if you go to youtube if you do a search under chicho and sound wave one word sound wave you'll see a whole bunch of videos i loaded on those were absolutely brilliant right uh hip-hop dead prez was fantastic uh really good uh system of a down was absolutely magnificent uh, they're hypnotized the first one they, I can't I remember if it was hypnotized or mesmerized I always mix those up amazing there's a lot of shows that are memorable for me coolio coolio I really get mistaken for a person older than 25 anyway uh, I have been mistaken for a 30 40 year old uh, before yeah me too when I was younger and it was a benefit when I was 14, 15. I could go into liquor stores. I really, I was doing runs for people when I was 15. <laughs> Crazy. Facial hair went a long way. For the first time in my life, my hair is on trend. Hooray for great uh, streaks. Nice. Cheryl, how are you doing? You owe me $20. Funny. For your information, at 46, I still don't have a single gray hair. You don't, Martin that's pretty good man arctic monkeys at Lollapalooza in chicago the summer am came out what a show nice awesome awesome and uh i saw some amazing shows at uh, burning man a couple of years that i went one of one year it was absolutely phenomenal neighborhood number one is one of my favorite songs nice double job I had gray hair in high school. Yeah, me too. Started getting gray a little bit. Wise beyond my years. <laughs> Who knows? Still, some Buddhist branches have a one-month fast from speaking. Yeah, and I've known people that go on uh, uh, silent retreats for anywhere from a week to a month where there's no speaking. Lonely piggy. I'm 23 and the gray hairs are starting to show a lot. Cool. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Rambo, are you training your muscles? Yeah, I work out, brother, for sure. You need to work out. I saw Roger Waters during his last tour a couple of years ago. Uh, 
he put a really amazing show yeah roger was waters by, by the way hello padre 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 how are you doing roger waters puts his heart and soul into a show right fantastic fantastic right oh what's our uptime gang uptime oh one hour and 40 minutes we've been up Cool. Nine Inch Nails, yeah, Nine Inch, Nine Inch Nails, amazing show. In the Sky Tour, in uh, is the high water mark of live music for me. I, I, and it was for us. It was accidental that we went to uh, Nine Inch Nails. I don't remember what what show it was, but it was uh, it was pre two thousand and two. Uh, 2002. I think it was 2000 or 2001. I saw Nine Inch Nails, phenomenal show, and Tool. Tool's an amazing, sh uh, put on amazing shows. Wow! I wonder what kind of entheogens you partook in. After seeing Gary Clark Jr. Boop, Gary Clark Jr. on Joe Rogan's podcast, I really want to see him live. Can't realize my typo, but my gray streaks. Are pretty great nice Cheryl didn't realize my typo I like gray I don't mind gray Chicho it's the creatine I take it keeps me young also my dairy-free diet yeah I bet I've heard for me yogurt is amazing I love yogurt so I'll never give that up right and creatine I've heard a lot of good things on uh, about anyway that would be the fragile that was a fragile tour for nine inch nails that would be a good tour to see nine inch nails on really yeah it was an amazing show and the the setup they had it was like big things with lights and the the floor was just going insane insane i saw dead mouse cube versus v2 volume two he's got a volume three tour that just wrapped up was going before the pandemic oh wow war with me uh no i'm not playing any games right now rambo what's up chicho nate how are you doing how's life are you on the discord i play war zones every once in a while nice gaming stuff going around miss most of the stream just had an amazing barbecue with fish oh nice what type of fish salmon i love salmon salmon barbecue is absolutely amazing imagine freddy krueger would be real how would you fight him i'd wake up but then you might bring him with you oops i've only been to two concerts but rush and iron man yeah rush i've seen too rush in toronto i saw was fantastic are two pretty good cho uh, choices yeah yeah uh slayer was good too slayer was awesome uh, i had an amazing time two days ago ding on a low dose of mushrooms fantastic evening full of energy and joy i did some improv guitar and singing and it came out great awesome thing burning man is really the only festival on my bucket list how how was that uh padre it was amazing at the time but the second year that we went i decided not to go again because it was too militarized the police presence was too much i don't want to go to festivals and have police shining light in my face uh, it's not going to work for me right so you know i saw police busting people arresting people dragging people away it's not something i want to get exposed to so i stopped going it was too militarized for me uh, have you been to the middle east uh, i was born in iran whole salmon and trout oh oh trout too oh nate so delicious oh so good so good so good oh salmon barbecue i haven't had salmon barbecue for a long time it's fitting that a discussion of mental health has pivoted to music chat music is the number one thing for good brain feelings case man i agree listen to amazing music and one of the other things i do uh when i'm feeling down or i used to do this i don't really feel down anymore something switched in me uh, a few years ago 
more than 15 years ago, 15 years ago, I guess when I started blogging, I really don't feel down anymore. But when I used to feel down, I used to watch depressing movies because that made me feel better because realizing how amazing my life is relative to some other people and sad music does it as well. I listen to sad music sometimes or harmonic music. Like one music which is absolutely brilliant is Armenian uh, tutak music, right? It's Armenian flute. It's usually there's two tones. Uh, Dejan Gasparian is the master, right? One one tone just keeps it going, and the other one plays a harmony on top, plays like notes like a solo, but it's not really guitar solo. It's like a it fucking it phenomenal, really. There was a period where I just I used to put it on and sleep to it. Uh, Sil, what do you love about the culture in Iran or Iran in general? Uh, Iranian food is absolutely magnificent. If there's any special cuisine, cultural cuisine you want to learn, I would highly recommend specializing in Iranian Persian cuisine. It is vast. It is encompasses so many different varieties of food it is extremely healthy okay and the people of course and the music and the poetry and and the history and everywhere really now canadian yeah i'm west coast canadian like my, my mentality is west coast canadian if you've lived here for an extended period of time you'll know what that means okay have you ever heard of used uh, binaural beats I use them to relax um, is that the ones that they're off beat but one is going the other one's going a different beat I looked into some of the stuff a long time ago but I never got into using them no or is that the one that is like cannons like box cannons ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I've been listening to a lot of bibio lately I don't know that bibio his music is always calming. I don't know, Bibio. I used to bet in singing bowl music to meditate. Nice, always be making cream, maybe coconut cream, coconut cream. Uh, Coolio, what type of meditation do you uh, do you typically do? I've been searching for an online TM teacher. I found a few videos, but TM trans meditation is that what it is? Uh, is something you need life? Uh, you need live live feedback on uh the first few times i what type of meditation i i sort of used my exercise routine in the mornings and meditation and i'm going to show you my exercise routine next set that's coming up next week right and there's one thing that i do usually ending it with that where i breathe a certain way when i'm moving doing the weights it's just five pound weights and that calms me down i do the walking meditation i listen to music it's just do meditation I you do heavy dose meditation during the music festivals in the summer when I attend to them or music shows that I go to right unfortunately that's off the table right now but dancing is meditation to me a huge huge I'm not totally convinced by Bi binarial beats work but I'm not uh, they're not unpleasant yes TM is trans med transcendental meditation yeah I think I want one of those David Lynch meditation. Yeah, I've heard David. I actually looked into David Lynch, some of the stuff that he did. Um, I love his movies. Right? It's electronic tones at specific frequencies that are supposed to be good for a variety of things. But I don't know if they're science to back it up. Relaxing nonetheless, I can get into a theta state and have intensive visualization sometimes as far as i'm concerned that's scientific that that's you know you don't need a doctor doing it in a lab right to confirm what you're feeling thing right like you know they come on and say oh psilocybin there isn't there hasn't been enough uh, scientific studies to prove that it does this does this does this it's been used throughout human history for thousands upon thousands of years of course there's a basis for it right so uh, just because our present uh, political economic scientific community doesn't recognize something it doesn't mean it's not valid right science is 
we have to listen to science but science is not the end all be all of everything all of human knowledge uh, especially our current corrupt centralized systems that govern almost every aspect of our lives right i also like having a little waterfall near me when i meditate i have a balcony on my apartment i'm turning into a meditation garden awesome I'll always be making so what do you think about sleep and dreams dreams yes and sleep yes do you have any view on how dreams could be considered very weird compared to our daily life uh, want what's uh, their purpose uh, dreams huge the dream realm is powerful uh, important uh, and it should be part of everybody's lives and there are certain entheogens that uh, help you have lucid dreaming that you can incorporate into your life and meditation of course and transform meditation and music and and whatever it might be right so I've explored I personally have explored the dream realm very intensely in the past and at some point I will go back into that cycle again and explore the dream realm a lot more so yeah dreams are huge I do lots of barbecue fish eating meditation mm, nice <laughs> David Lynch did a uh, master class on filmmaking and talked about trans TM transcendental meditation in it was really fascinating would recommend to anyone interested in him awesome for your information I'm up to 1,500 push-ups in sets of 500 so Martin how long does it take you to do that I'm assuming you can do 500 in a matter of like 15 minutes yeah is that correct uh, 50 a minute 40 a minute uh, a little bit over a second a pop yeah is that how long it would take you 15 minutes or so for 500 10 minutes maybe there's a pet I'm gonna scroll down a little bit gang just to get caught up with the bottom of the chat I don't want to lose anything towards the bottom that we're getting we're almost getting to the end of the stream I guess health would be a good channel to post meditation uh, stuff in or perhaps philosophy Chicho any input uh, either I think would work uh, health and philosophy health maybe right Chichonians I never dream not one little bit Martin really could it be a lack of uh, uh trip uh tough fan i don't know uh if you want to dream uh, i don't know where you are but i know salvia divinorum amplifies your dreams five minutes you do 505 minutes wow so that's a hundred a minute you do 100 push-ups a minute damn martin olive how you doing have you had lucid dreams if so how did you achieve them yeah felix i've had a lot of lucid dreams as well as diviners dreams and I got into lucid dreaming uh, 20 years ago through entheogens and it's powerful Martin guarantee that you do you just uh, don't remember them are you partaking in cannabis every day yeah by the way uh, Martin uh, for anyone here really cannabis suppresses your dreams if you want to amplify your dreams stop consuming cannabis da, 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 da. my dreams if I remember them at all don't make any sense push-ups in 15 minutes damn no uh, 500 push-ups in five minutes that's what Martin's saying I never managed to lucid dream either Chicho what do you what did you dream about last night too personal um i can't remember right now but i did earlier this morning i don't try to hold on to the dreams to tell the truth i dream so so much it's too much yeah all of sometimes you have to reduce the amount of lucid dreaming you're doing or did too much dreaming it could be exhausting right 
one word yes i usually dream about things i desire in life and wake up disappointed felix <laughs> also waking up in the middle of the night and then going back to sleep helps dreaming yeah but i guess broken sleep can't be a good thing no ah, is, is it broken though because you can continue your same dream like i reached a point where i could continue to dream from one night to the next right it takes practice by the way i can't do it right now uh, because i haven't practiced it but i could get back into it i used to lucid dream uh, as a kid it was incredible i miss it if salvia enhances dreams and cannabis suppresses them what if you take them both uh, salvia surpasses anything else salvia salvia will amplify anything else okay and the salvia effect coolio do not mix salvia with anything when i smoked a lot i oh, would never remember any dreams yeah i can't control how much uh i dream though yeah you might be able to with time olive right and there there are courses and stuff that you could take right tryptophan tryptophan that's right is found only in cow's milk is it tryptophan when i quit cannabis i had an influx of intense vivid dreams one was about an app that had the entire universe mapped out like google maps you could even uh see which planets were populated super cool super cool cheryl are you more aware of your dreams to olive are you more aware of your dreams now during our current time period oh good question cheryl very good question are you guys what is salvia salvia is salvia divinorum is from the sage family it is an entheogens uh so it the the shaman its origin is oaxaca mexico the shaman used to brew tea and and they still do they brew tea and they people drink it and wash it around their mouth so the uh the minerals or the active ingredients gets absorbed through the membrane of the mouth and then they lay down and they have lucid dreams it's very subtle or could be very subtle there is western cultures that also taken that stuff and made extracts out of it and made it very powerful be careful da, 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 da. i mean you're more aware of them now or have you always been aware of them no way i see nothing they're cooking bacon downstairs i can smell it sil chicho i once dreamt about a drawer in my room where every time i open it uh, I open it, get cash. So I kept closing and opening it and filling bags. I got to a point where I didn't have more bags, and suddenly someone, somebody woke me up to tell me uh, he has to go to work. And I was like, "Why did you wake me up? All all the money is gone." That's funny. Uh, Olive says uh, to Cheryl, "No, not really, but I could try." Why is salvia available at corner stores, but so many other things are illegal? Ontario is weird. Yeah, and, and salvia is, uh, we're not talking about the same type of salvia. They're, salvia is a generic name, meaning sage is from the mint family, right? So there are different types of salvia. Okay. Everyone nightmare, nightmare. Nightmares aren't very common for me spoiler there was nothing there laugh out loud coolio spider-man actually da, 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 da. i'm at the bottom of chat fun fantastic stream gang i wasn't sure how things were going to go you had a lot of people pop in a lot of discussion uh i feel like i am dreaming more now but can't tell if i'm getting more sleep or if it's the extra stress cheryl says i'm interested in taking entheogens but i don't know how to go about getting them felix I would say before even thinking about getting them, we'll go on Erowid and Erowid, E R O O W I D, and read as much as you can. Okay. I'm in the same boat, Coolio says. If you're in Canada, go farmhand dot ca. Farmhand dot ca. Cool. Embryo sleep, and we don't know uh, what they dream about. Yeah. 
interesting maybe they're dreaming about uh, the life they're about to have right let's call the stream gang thank you for being here thank you to the mods huge thank you to the mods okay we will be back streaming after like a four-day break i'm gonna release the stream we did uh, on current event or economics right after the stream within half an hour so i'll be premiering that on youtube i'll be available on chat there okay nate much love chicho and chat stay healthy both mentally and physically you guys as well if you want to follow our work we are on patreon i do post stuff on patreon and if you want to support this project patreon is a fantastic way to support this project you can also just follow and you'll get notifications when i post anything on patreon okay we are live streaming this on twitch so if you want to follow this work twitch is a fantastic way to be there live during the chat to participate in the discussion and i i will be from now on for most of the stuff uh chichuan numbers are growing coolio i will be most likely premiering a lot of videos on youtube so i will be available in chat on youtube um, as long as i can we do announce the stuff on the live streams we're going to go live 30 minutes beforehand on twitter gab minds vk and Allo, and all the links will be in the description of this video we are we do have a discord page you can find the link through twitch and there's a lot of activity on discord sharing a lot of information okay and we are loading this on everything on bitshoot and almost everything on youtube okay and youtube we do have youtube membership and youtube membership is a great way to support this project as well thank god for the day i found your vids you're awesome thanks sil appreciate it coolio should we tell them about the thing we're testing on sunday are, are we doing it for sure you guys gotta let me know we didn't get confirmation are we are we testing it on sunday coolio i didn't know this you gotta let me know uh, that's tomorrow uh let's talk on discord okay and yeah we can tell uh let people know we're planning on doing a chat between a whole bunch of us uh through discord wait test what yeah dante i i don't know coolio we gotta oh, let's talk in the mod mod folder on discord and pick a time and date i don't know if i can do it tomorrow tell you the truth because we didn't set anything in stone i just said i could do on sunday a few days ago but because nothing got confirmed i didn't i didn't book it I have some stuff I need to take care of tomorrow. Uh, one of them is shooting a video, intro video, so I can load on the Monopoly streams for the next three, four days, right? But we'll talk, okay? Uh, and aside from that, we are in times of pandemics, right? It's pretty important to flatten the curve, right? Don't overwhelm your healthcare workers, your system. Make sure the system is can handle handle an influx of cases if there is an influx of cases irrelevant of what you think is going on because we really don't know what's going on right now so be considerate take care of your community take care of people be kind all right everyone um, aside from that i'll talk to the mods i'll talk to you guys on discord uh, thank you for being here gang uh, thank you for taking care of business uh okay okay we'll bring it up in discord uh, i thought we had an agreement no I, we didn't set a time coolio i wasn't aware and it looks like no one else was aware either <laughs> that was a smooth and enjoyable to us awesome thing i'm glad you liked and for everyone that followed and sub thank you for the follows thank you for the subs if you ended up subbing and if you want to support this work patreon twitch twitter youtube bitshoot uh, mines vk Allo, gab all of them great ways to follow this work support this work okay uh, aside from that thank you for being here gang bye olive and i'll see you guys uh, on discord chatting it up there and i'll see you i believe our next stream is on thursday i'll set the times on our twitch page where it does the countdown so we know exactly what's going on okay bye everyone i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day and sunday as well